Assistant President. I'm not going to praise Andrew Bolt. I'm still in shock. Um, Mr. Assistant President, uh, I recently attended the launch of the Western Sydney University's Hawkesbury Agri Tech Hub. This is yet another exciting development taking place in Western Sydney on the doorstep of the Western Sydney Airport and the new Aerotropolis. And as a boy from Penrith with a background in horticulture, this is a project I'm particularly passionate about. Growing up in Penrith, I know how difficult it can be to access a good job close to home in Western Sydney, but that's not the case anymore. With the New South Wales Government's investment in infrastructure in Western Sydney, the area is being transformed, transformed into the kind of place ideally suited for an agri-tech hub. This government has delivered the road, rail and even the air connections to revitalise the area for generations to come. We have funded new parks and hospitals, schools and sporting grounds to make this not only a place to work but a place to live, invest and raise a family. And that investment is being seen in projects like the Agri-Tech Hub. The hub will span six hectares and operate a high-tech commercial teaching and research greenhouse complex. The first of its kind in Australia, the hub will benefit from its location just 30 minutes from the new airport at Richmond at the Hawkes Rag College and the adjacent Aerotropolis with its agri-business precinct. The hub will promote best practice techniques and technology across Western Sydney and New South Wales by, by combining cutting edge agri-tech research with rapid export opportunities. In 2017, exports from Western Sydney were worth an estimated $57.8 billion. That's 14% of this was from food and grocery manufacturing sector. 30% of those food and grocery manufactured goods were destined for foreign markets. It's clear we already have a strong competitive advantage in Western Sydney when it comes to exporting produce overseas. Foreign markets value our high quality goods. The Agri-Tech Hub will take this advantage to the next level, improving the quality and the efficiency of produce in Western Sydney. The produce that will be exported globally via the Western Sydney International Airport, a 24-7 international airport equipped with an integrated logistics hub which can handle time-sensitive ambient cold chain and live animal products. Western Sydney University has set three objectives for the hub. The first is that, quote, the development of the University of Hawkesbury's Agri-Tech Hub stra strategy leverages the, the con concentration of industry, teaching and research innovation in agriculture and horticulture located at the Hawkesbury campus. With existing expertise in climate science, soil science and environmental sciences, the Hawkesbury Institute for the Environment is perfectly suited to conduct the work in Australia's first dedicated agri-tech agri hub. I have no doubt the hub will go on to employ some of the world, some world-class researchers educated in Australia's first STEM-focused multiversity being built at the Aerotropolis. The second objective is that Quote, there is a focus on developing intensive, high-yield technology interface agricultural commercial practices to provide a continuum between teaching, research, innovation and commercial activism, activation. With the government's plans for a designated agribusiness precinct within the Aerotropolis, the opportunity to integrate technology and commercial agriculture has never been stronger. The projects taken together provide a clear pathway for cooperation between research and commercial agriculture in Western Sydney. The research produced in the hub can be applied to agribusinesses in the precinct and in further into New South Wales, which can then export their produce to half the world within 10 hours through the 24-7 integrated logistics hubs of the Western Sydney International Airport. The hub's third objective is that, quote, this presents opportunities for industry partnerships with a focus on protected cropping of high yield, high demand produce, as well as innovative technology and subsequent educational benefits. Industry and research organisation partnerships are what the Aerotropolis is all about, enabling businesses to take advantage of the world-class training provided through the new STEM multiversity and the new education and training model. I'd like to pay tribute and acknowledge the leadership uh, from the Western Sydney University and particularly by uh, the team led by Vice-Chancellor Barney Glover mm -hmm. and, uh, and ably assisted by uh, the Assistant Vice-Chancellor, Dr a Andy Marks, who, who facilitated this, uh, this uh, launch and this, this facility. Beginning with James Roos, Australian farming started in Western Sydney. And with the Agri-Tech Hub supported by a dedicated agribusiness precinct at, at the Aerotropolis and the 24-7 International Airport, it is set to reach the, the next frontier for Western Sydney. Thank you. Honourable McVeach. Thank you, Mr Assistant President. Quite exciting. Mm.